Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hello, future engineers. Here is another video, problem video, sample problem video in Engineers in Progress, particularly on the topic, the Epantin's equation. I hope that you will enjoy watching. You will learn from this video as preparations to your engineering life. So when you have Aldaipantin's equation, the number of equations formulated will be uh, less than the number of unknowns in the problem. And the technique here is the unknowns should be whole numbers. So we have to try formulating equations in terms of the other unknowns and we substitute whole numbers for the unknowns until such time that we can arrive with whole values also for a specific unknown or variable. Then, principle on linear programming uh, would be to maximize. So this is about optimization problems the technique in algebra, the proper technique will be discussed in calculus, but in algebra part, this is the technique. What you have to do is define the function, specific function to be maximized or minimized, then evaluate that function. So linear equations developed and analyzed in answering optimization problems, not by calculus, but by algebra. So one technique is to sketch the graph, then flat point, especially in maximizing the function. The value is maximum when the points chosen are far from the origin, and the minimum value would be close from the origin. So let's have this problem one. A merchant has three items on sale, namely a radio for 50 pesos, a clock for 30 pesos, and a flashlight for 1 peso. At the end of the day, he has sold a total of 103 items and has taken exactly 1,000 pesos on the total sales. How many radios did he sell? So for the first equation, number of radios plus number of clocks plus number of flashlight, flashlights equals 100 and for the value 1000 pesos so since the radio cost or is priced at 50 pesos each so we have 50 times the number of radios sold for that day plus uh, clock 30 pesos each so times C plus flashlight 1 peso each times F equals 1000 from, from equation 1 F, we know that F is a whole number because it's a flashlight and it, it is priced at 1 peso only. So F is 100 minus R minus C. So we substitute this in equation 2. So 50R plus 30C plus F, which is quantity 100 minus R minus C equals 1000. So 50R minus R is 49R. 30C minus C is 29C equals 900. R therefore is 900 minus 29C over 49. So we have a denominator of 49. So we set C equals uh, 0, 1, 2, and so on and so forth until such time that we can find uh, the value of R, which is a whole number. So try C equals 1 up to N until we get C equals 4, so R is 900 minus 29 times 4 over 49, and R equals 16. So having found R equals 16, that is really the number of radios sold for that day. So we begin 
to problem 2, let's have uh, a situation where the answer might maybe not just one but many possibilities. So a sales lady in a department store is assigned to three items, namely pants worth 800 pesos a piece, shirts worth 549 a piece and hats at 199 a piece. At the end of the week, the total worth of purchases recorded is 90,120. If there were a total of 39 items sold out for that week, determine the amount collected for the sales of shirts for that week. So for the sales, 800 pesos per pound times number of pants plus 549 pesos times per shirt times number of shirts plus 199 pesos for one hat then times h equals 19 120 call that equation one for the number pants plus shirts plus hats equals 39 then the number of pants therefore is 39 minus s minus h so, substitute into equation 1, 800 times quantity 39 minus S, S minus H plus 549 S plus 199 H equals 19,120. Simplifying negative 251 S minus 601 H equals negative 12,080. Or, let's multiply everything by negative 1 and simplify. S therefore is 12,080 plus minus 601 H over 251. So we then substitute H equals 1 to N or 1 to N until such time that we get N is 13, the number of hats sold is 13, so that the number of shirts sold is 17. So the amount collected from shirts therefore is 549 pesos times number of shirts uh, 17 so 9,333 pesos then another problem problem 3 a market vendor has three displayed fruit items namely mangoes at 125 pesos per kilo guavas at 90 pesos per kilo and avocados at 80 pesos per kilo at the end of the day the total number of kilos sold was 81 for a total cash collected of 8510 pesos how many kilos of avocados were sold so for the first equation about the sales 125 for mangoes plus 90 per kilo times number of kilos sold sold guavas then 80 pesos per kilo for avocado equals 8 5 10 equation 1 then number of kilos mangoes plus guavas plus avocado equals 81 so m equals 81 minus g minus a we substitute this into equation 1 125 minus 125 times quantity 81 minus g minus a plus 90 g plus 80 a equals 8 5 1 0 so uh, simplifying, we have negative 35G, which is this, then negative 125A plus 80 is negative 45A, 8510 minus 125 times 81 is negative 1615. So solving for A, A is 1615 minus 35G over 45. So try 1 to N until such time that we get a is 30 a is 32 if g is 5 so m is 85 minus 81 minus 5 minus 32 so 44 then another possibility a is 25 if g is 14 so a is 18 if g is 23 a is 11 if g is 32 a is 4 if G is 41. So therefore, the possible number of kilos of avocado sold is 4 kilos or 11 or 18 or 25 or 32 kilos. So that's it.
So this is a problem where there are so many possible answers. Then, problem 4, find the maximum and minimum values of the linear function f of quantity xy equals 7x plus 6y minus 5 at negative 1, 1, 2, 2, 0, 0 on the convex polygon determined by the given points as vertices. Also, give the coordinates of the vertex at which each extreme value occurs. So, we have maximum and minimum. So, one possible value, f1, would be at negative 1, 1, 1. This is the function, objective function. So, 7 times negative 1 plus 6 times 1 minus 5 is negative 6. For the second point, 2, 2, 7 times 2 plus 6 times 2 minus 5 is 21. For the third point, 0, 6, 7 times 0 plus 6 times 0 minus 5, so negative 5. Therefore, the maximum value is 21 and it occurs at the point 2, comma 2. And the minimum value is negative 6 and it occurs at the point negative 1, comma 1. And problem 5, find the maximum and minimum values of the linear function f of xy equals negative 4x plus 5y minus 1 at 1, comma 2, 4, comma 5, 2, comma 6, 0, comma 6, negative 2, comma 4 on the convex polygon determined by the points as vertices. Also give the coordinates of the vertex at which each extreme value occurs. So, first, first point, f, comma, 1, this is the objective function. Negative 4 times 1 plus 5 times 2 minus 1 is negative 5, is positive 5, rather. f of 2 is four at 4, 5, negative 4 times 4 plus 5 times 5 minus 1, 8. f of 3 at 2, comma, 6, negative 4 times 2 plus 5 times 6 minus 1, 21 f of 4 at 0, 6, negative 4 times 0, plus 5 times 6, minus 1 equals 29. And f of 5 at negative 2, 4 is negative 4 times negative 2, plus 5 times 4, minus 1, so 27. Therefore, the maximum value is 29, and it occurs at 0, 6, and the minimum value is 5, and it occurs at 1, 2. So that's it for this video. I hope that you were able to follow the solutions, understand the explanations, and I hope that you can also solve problems related to this. Uh, by the way, if you are if you want to anticipate the solution, for those who anticipated the solution, you may do so by posting the video.